What's up guys? I'm the Big Pig Gamer. Welcome back to another Virtual Boss tutorial. Um, my sister's playing video, so I hope I'm not interrupting her. But this video is going to be how to install Windows NT Workstation 3.51 in Virtual Box. Yes, it was NT Workstation 3.51. wasn't 95. That's going to be next tutorial. But this one is NT 3.51. So let's get straight into this one. So, so yeah, the downloads or the things you need are Virtual Box, obviously. Um, again, like I said, I think in the last one I said this too. Th this, this, I, 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 I don't know if you care. If you. Okay, I'm sorry. I messed up on words a lot. But what I was trying to say was, um, basically, like I think I said this in the last Virtual Box tutorial I did. Um, that it could, I think it's the same exact process for VMware and stuff like that. If you're asking, does it work on VMware? I'm pretty sure it does, but I'm using VirtualBox because I'm so used to it and it's just, it, I'm just really used to it. So, yeah, so, um, if you're, win if you're, you're, if you're on a Windows computer, then you, um, download this one which is windows house if you're on mac you get this os x one if you're on linux linux if you're on source on source just pick what you need um don't worry this is a virus you have to click on this or if, if you want to download it on linux you have to click this and next thing you need is when the actual operating system iso now this is on win world pc which is a very nice website for old operating system iso so thumbs up thumbs up for win world pc because it's a very awesome website so download it from here um you could choose any mirror you want i don't know where mirror one is broken but choose this one or this one it doesn't matter which one you choose the file won't be france it's just oh no <laughs> but yes yeah. So now I have all of your downloads, or once you do, then go into VirtualBox. I already have it open. I installed one new virtual machine off camera, which is cool. It's the uh, Microsoft Plus for Windows 95, which I'll I will make a tutorial of that. So yeah, um, this one's off camera too, but I'll do a tutorial on that one too. So yeah, hit the new virtual machine button, and um, it brings you to this screen. You're probably very used to this if you've watched my other tutorials or other virtual box tutorials by other people, thanks to the suggestions. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna call my Windows NT Workstation 3.51. Now, for this one, you need to put it at. Oh man, I think it was. Oh, I can't remember. I think I think I I watched a tutorial on how to do this because I was having troubles. It kept saying, um, fat fatal boot no bootable mini medium found um system hatled. I think they chose this one, so choose that one and hit next. Um, I'm gonna leave it at this many, but you could put up the RAM if you want. Probably not to here. I won't suggest that. Hit next create next it pretty much does this all itself and he, these are the amount of gigabytes i'm gonna put this up a little bit and then hit create and then go into settings i really hope i done this right yes i have so you have this and this you want to put in this first it's going to here to see all this isos i put in um then choose vir virtual optical disk file click that and then I have a folder here, full of operating systems. <laughs> so go into here, and then you want to click this, double click this one to so do that. And then do, and then you do this one. So yeah, um, go into here, boot disks, and you want to put in um, disk one, and then hit OK, and then hit that start button. Okay, so this is gonna start up. I'm gonna put it in this mode. And there we go. Yes, I done this correctly. Put out Windows 3.1. So yeah, there it says please insert this disk. So you put that one in. So choose disk image. Um, oh, we're already in here. Put in disk two, and then press Enter when ready. And then it's gonna bring you to the setup. Here we go. Welcome to the setup. Press Enter, and then hit Enter again, and then put in setup disk three. Not a hard process, not a hard process. Press enter again. 
Okay, could probably hear the computer a little bit, Kaylin's computer a little bit in the background, but not too much. I'm my volume up anyway. Don't, don't know if we get sound on this, I'm pretty sure you don't, but we'll see if, if, if you do when we actually install it, finish installing it. Right, um, just hit enter, I guess, you could, I don't know if you could, if you're supposed to hit S, but I'll just hit enter. Um, and then hit enter. C to continue, enter, you want to do NTFS, hit enter, and then it's going to format, this is build 1057, I think it's the only build of this, so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to call NT Workstation 3.51, right, hit enter, it's going to check your C drive, okay, it's probably going to be the shortest virtual box tutorial I've done yet. I really hope you're enjoying these, um, because I love doing them, um, last time was Windows XP, and the one before that was Windows Alpha Betas, so yeah, this one isn't a remake, this is, this is a brand new one, so yeah, no, no, I didn't do this one on my old channel, the rest that you will see, it, except for the two remakes, which were Alpha Betas, Bill 905, and Windows XP, th those, like, the rest, they're just gonna, they're gonna be, ones I haven't done yet. Oh, here we go, so it's done, um, and then hit, um, if there's a, so yeah, um, if there's a floppy disk inserted, I guess you need to remove your disk now, I really, I can't remember how to install it, so I think, so I'm just, I might say I think a lot, I'm really sorry, so, um, remove this, and then hit enter, and it says so will continue, and yes, it worked, um, oh, you don't even need to press enter, it does it for you. So don't do VGA, do the one, the first one. Here we go. This will pop up every time. Every time. So yeah, here we go, version 3.51. Here we go. Into the setup. And I think you have to do this stuff. Yes, you do. So I'm going to put my name, Ryan. That's my real name. That's my real name. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I set up my old channel, I haven't set it on the new channel, all I said was, what's up guys, I'm the Pig Pig Gamer, I didn't even say like, hey guys, I'm Ryan, so yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, let's do Pig Pig Gamer, I mean, it's a fine intro with me, I mean, I don't think lots of YouTubers even say their real names in, in their intros, so yeah, then hit continue, Continue. I don't think you need to put a company, but if it tells you to, then you need to. Computer name, I'm gonna call this Win. NT3, no, Workstation, <laughs> oh geez, it's going to be a long name, oh, I can't fit it in, let's just call it NT351, let's just call it that, and we could put like a, a 2 if there's like more versions, we could maybe do server, um, hit continue, continue, um, your language, um, mine's English in the United States, hit continue, and printer name, I guess you could skip this step, no, um, I don't really know what my printer name is, so I'm just gonna put printer, and just put, I don't know what my model is, I, I just, I'm just, this is a virtual machine, remember, so I might not even print anything on this, so I continue, I called it printer, <laughs> I'm so silly, um, I think that's my internet adapter as well, which is cool, hit continue, uh, I guess you could just hit continue on this. And there's the awesome logo. And then it'll tell you some information about your workstation, all this stuff. See so, ya. Yeah. And the reason why I do these tutorials is, um, number one, nostalgia. And number two, if you guys just really want to go back in time and just maybe mess around with these operating systems, then I could show you how to do it in virtual box instead of having to, like, downgrade your PC, because you wouldn't want to do that if you're on, like, Windows 10. I mean, you love your Windows 10. I love my operating system, but i just like to show you guys how to do these. Right, um, I guess you just hit OK, uh, just hit Cancel, I mean, I mean, like, I don't know my, like, I don't know what it said, but it said something, and I can't remember what it was. Just hit OK. Um, hit no. Just hit yes. And then hit OK. Hit OK. Yes. Just keep hitting OK, and then OK, and then yes, and then... Is it doing the same one, actually? <laughs> Click yes to return to the... No... 
Oh, just press no. What is wrong with me? It said press. I thought it said press no to stop the installation or like not be able to continue. But no, it said no to get to you. So just hit no if you don't know. Oh, uh, I guess you can hit okay this. Yeah, I can. And then it's gonna load up all this stuff. For for a second, I thought I actually installed. I'm like, wow, that was sure that was quick, but no, nope, I didn't. Um, you don't need a password. Just hit continue. Um, just hit okay. Don't worry. Don't need to. Um, continue. You must enter your username. Oh, I'm my new. Let's just make it pig pig gamer. Hit continue. Okay. And here we go. Continue. I'm not in Greenwich. I'm not in the UK. I believe. I don't know. I don't even know my time zone. Uh, you guys might be surprised. I don't even know my time zone. I think it's this one though. Hit OK. Don't be looking for me, guys. Don't be looking for me. Because <laughs> it just says the time zone, not the location. So, haha. -ha. Um, Alright, hit OK. Let us display saying to get edited if you want, but I I'm comfortable with it. Like this, hit OK. Uh, no. Root just from the floppy disk. Um, let's see if I have any floppy disks. No, I don't. If it's grayed out, that means you don't. And then choose restart, so just hit restart like it says, and it's going to restart the virtual machine. And then this time, you need to press enter. It's not going to do it itself this time. You need to press enter. This is even going to come up not every time this, there's a setup. Every time you start up the actual operating system. So you have to wait a little bit. And then this stuff is going to come up, and I think it restarts again. And then, like, yeah, restarts again, and then just do the same thing you just did. Not VGA, guys. I don't know, even know, I don't even know what that is, but I recommend not choosing VGA. <coughs> okay, here we go, and let's go do this. And then there we go. I think we finished. Um... Is it okay? G ignore the errors. There we go. It looks like we haven't stolen. Oh, don't press Control Alt Delete because I think something bad happens. So g go this really cool thing. Get out of your virtual machine. Well, don't like close it out, but like get out of the screen and then click input. Go to keyboard and insert Control Alt Delete. I'm so glad that's a feature. That's so helpful. So here we go. NT351. That's our username. Hit OK. There's an awesome logo, and there we go! You've installed Windows NT Workstation 3.51. Successful. You are done. You can mess around, I guess. <laughs> um, I was gonna show you something. I wonder where the run thing is. I want to show you proof that this is actually real. It said it on the screen, Windows NT Workstation 3.51. I don't know if you could do it on this computer, though. We got the setup, I don't know why that's there. <laughs> and we also got a little introducing thing so you get to know more about it if you couldn't read the thing on the setup. Um, we got MS DAWs as well. Even though we didn't really do a setup for that. I don't think we do on here. See, look, the X has changed. Oh my goodness, this system is really old. As you saw in the logo, it was like made in like, I think close to the year 2000. Oh yeah, it also saves it down there as well. So yeah, no taskboard, just these one windows that you can just have a look at. So yeah, I think um you have to like you could like do this stuff. I have no idea, but it really is. I promise you, I re it really is Windows NT works in 3.51. You saw it on the log on screen, so that means we have we this is the correct system you want to install. So yeah, we can have a look at this stuff, we can have a look at the applications, got all this stuff, close that out. And we can just have a look at this, like, I'm gonna show you a little bit of this, cause it's so cool, look at that. It's so cool. <laughs> I think it was in 1993. So, you got a little introduction, you can learn about it, see, look all this stuff, logging on. You can just read that, and close, you wanna close it, if you actually write, double click on it, somehow. Got the file manager. I'm gonna show you a little bit around of this. Um, so we got the file manager. Oh, is that run right there? Oh, it is. Um, let's see. Winver. 
There we are, Windows NT, the version 3.51, and it is the workstation one, which is awesome, we also got, yeah, it was 19, oh, it's 1995, very interesting, so yeah, guys, that is how to install Windows NT workstation 3.51 in VirtualBox, I hope this tutorial helped you, I hope you enjoyed these, like, I really am enjoying these, so next will be Windows 95, um, which might be one of the co most complex ones so far. But this one was was the shortest one we did so far, even though it's 15 minutes, it's pretty short. Um, the setup doesn't take that long. All you have to do is just like put in setup disk, and then you you'll be done. And you can just do what you want on here. I don't think you can play any games. Like I think this came out before gaming was even made. Gaming was even on Windows. So yeah. But you can have a look at this thing, which is awesome. So yeah, again, thanks so much for watching how to install this operating system in VirtualBox. If you did enjoy it, then definitely give it that big fat like. And, t um, oh yeah, I forgot. You, I, you're not, I, I won't take suggestion what vir VirtualBox to try. I won't do next, I'm sorry. But anyway, um, um, leave, leave errors in the comments section that I got, um, and that, and, and when you do, I will try and reply you quick as I can to help you. What um, show me what copy and paste or like type in what your error was, and I will try and fix it for you. Look up on the internet, just do some googling, and hopefully I can help you fix this problem and successfully install this. So yeah, um, this was a very easy yet um simple tutorial. Um, probably the most simplest tutorial yet. Um. So yeah, again, thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next, no, <laughs> see you guys later. Peace! Aw, oh, it's done it again, really, really, really. <laughs> I have to, I have to do it again. Let's try this again. Peace!